Hey Math 1B in Geometry, I've got a new video for you. It is the sequel to graphing linear systems and solving using the graph. This is graphing linear systems with special cases. So this is like lesson 1.9 if you're keeping track of things. Basically you're given two linear equations in which you need to get y by itself, use that to graph the starting point and plot points from its rise over run, and yeah, the place where they intersect is going to be the solution. So, we need to get y by itself. Here's what that looks like. All right, can you guys see that from there? You can. So I'm constantly just moving x's and y's on opposite sides of each other. You gotta get rid of the positive eight x, move it over here leaving you with negative 10y equals negative 8x plus 20. And then you divide by the negative 10 out front. I mean, this is really getting old if you know how to do this. Um, take advantage of those easy points, I guess. y equals, all right, negative 8 divided by negative 10. If you want to simplify that fraction there without a calculator, just tell yourself, a negative over a negative is a positive. They're both even, so divide them by two. Half of eight is four, half of 10 is five. It's four fifths. And then 20 divided by negative 10, the tens cancel, it's negative two. All right, so my first equation is start at negative two, then move up one, two, three, four, right one, two, three, four, five. Up four, right five. First line's done. All right, then 5y equals 4x. All we need to do is divide by 5, because the y is on the left-hand side. So y equals 4 fifths x. And then I'm going to say it's plus 0. It's not plus 1. There's nothing there. 0. So start at 0 on the y-axis. You're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the point you plotted. Or down 1, 2, 3, 4, left 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 from the point you plotted. All right, so if you notice, the slopes are the same which means they're parallel. So you got parallel lines. The thing about parallel lines is that they don't intersect. Parallel lines do not intersect. So the solution is the point where they intersect. There's no solution. Second one, I instantly noticed that y equals 1x here and 1x down here. 1 over 1 is the slope for the top. You start at negative 3. You go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1, up 1, right 1. As many times as you want, or down one, left one, down one, left one, down one, left one. And it looks like the other one is going to have the same pattern. It's got a one over one slope. It just starts at a different point. It starts at positive three. So you go up one, two, three units, 
And again, same thing. Up one, right one, up one, right one, up one, right one. Down left, down left, down left, down left. All right, similarly, they both have the same slopes. And same sloped lines are parallel. Parallel lines do not intersect. There's no solution. All right, pretty clear, right? If they have a different starting point, but they both have the same rise over run, they both have the same slope, they do not intersect, they're parallel lines, it's no solution. So check out number three. Number three is already ready-made to graph for the first equation. Start at negative three, so down one, two, three. <coughs> negative two is its slope, which means it's minus two over a positive one. So down two, right one down to right one, or up to left one, up to left one. Second one, uh, I gotta get y by itself, so I'm going to Subtract the 6x first. Then divide everything by 3. y equals negative 6 divided by 3 is negative 2 over 1x minus 3. Oh boy. I'm starting at negative three on the y-axis, going up to left one or down to right one. Down to right one, up to left one, up to left one. Uh, okay. I'm just gonna roll with it. I plotted the points and now I'm going to plot them again. I plotted the points, I'm gonna graph them. All right, so let's interpret the situation here. These are the same line. The solution is, where do these two lines intersect? Well, they overlap every single point on this line. So where do the two lines intersect? Every point on the line. So there's, there's a couple different ways to describe what's happening. Um, most textbooks say that there are infinitely many solutions in this case, which is true, right? Every dot on this line continues in both directions forever. So you could say that. Now, that doesn't mean that the solution is infinity. If you say the solution is infinity, that doesn't make any sense. It's what I like to have my, you guys, my students, put as the solution are 
all points on this line. Those are the solutions. So uh, you can put infinitely many solutions. You also have the option to say all points on the line. And I'm talking about the line that you just graphed here. All points on that line. And you can abbreviate it A Paul. I guess know both of them is what I'm saying. So, hey, that's it. You have two special cases the ones where the lines have the same slope and they're parallel, or the ones where when you do the algebra to get the y by itself, they're identical equations. If they're identical equations, then you're dealing with basically the same line overlapping every single point. There's an infinite number of solutions or all points on that line. All right, that's all I got. Thanks for watching and good luck on the homework.